You ready to flip in and flip out of this bitch? Well, we got Tori Pudwell. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me, guys. We got Roger Bagley. Thanks for yeah. coming. Yeah. Yeah. And we got me, Z Rob Crop. How are you enjoying taking like Grizzly as like a, a hobby as a kid to like now a fucking like legit company? I think it's it's a lot bigger than I ever even thought it was until I got serious about it. Once I got serious about it, I kind of learned. You ever I step back and just be like, holy shit. Like, this is something I started, like, as a, a kid, and now look at it. I definitely still don't feel like it's a real deal really? thing, you know? It's still, like, a fantasy to me. There's a lot that I want to do and a lot I want to accomplish, but... Where do you want to take it? I want to take it to the top. But, like, I, I'm i like this. I want to, like, go like this. Straight up. Straight up. But, like, Grizzlies just be going like this, dude. But and that's not a, a bad thing, there's though. There's a lot going that's on. That's not a bad there's thing. There's a lot of things it's, going on. There's yeah. a lot of brands. There's a lot of competition. There's right. a lot of heat. Yeah. You're, you're a busy guy. Hey, but a steady climb steady, is better a than a steady fucking, climb because, dude, you know, we're skateboarding, exactly. man. We're skateboarding. Exactly. We're a skateboard company. We're right. grizzly. And you got a good team behind you to help you do that, too. It's, You've got a huge it's, crew. It's abuse. solid. We yeah. got, we got, yeah. We got a really good posse of guys right now mm-hmm. that are in it for mm-hmm. the love dude yeah, yeah. Exactly. we're in it for the love and that's where it all started that's the most important it all part started. Though. Yeah. right for anybody could sign up for like a paycheck right we want to take care of skateboarding we want right. to make sure that skateboarding is supported yeah. where do you want to take grizzly though like we're like we want to take this thing to you we want to get on the road <laughs> we don't want to be sitting around in los angeles california with our grizzly gang dude we want to be everywhere we want to get a steady incline. steady climb we but want to get just a said steady you climb. want to be this that's but what right I, now you're this that's what i want i want yeah. i want everything overnight but things don't happen yeah. overnight i had to learn that yeah yeah I had dudes yell at me. You know, it's a business, dude. We're, we're, we're a team effort every day. These Absolutely. dudes aren't just showing up to work like so I could yell at them. But when I do, it's like it's cool because they can yell back and I can see the passion of these dudes and realize, you know what? These guys are grizzly. Yeah. Right. These guys have that mentality of exactly what grizzly is. Same reason I wake up every day to go skate. Yeah. And yeah. risk the bones. That's Who's right. your employee of the month right now, grizzly? Employee of the month? Um... Not Bryson. Bryson ain't killing. I'm just playing. That's a, huh? No. That's a, <laughs> he's our man, dude. Bryson's our team manager, dude. We gave him the position, oh, is he? dude. Yeah, I don't know. He came from Colorado. How come dude. he ain't sending me? How head, come he's dude. not sending me anything? What the he's fuck? waiting for a box. This guy's got a email fucking... Him? No. Okay, well, I got to give you his email, give me dude. His email, give it to yeah. you on the DM. Like DM me? Yeah, on the DL, though. Yeah, dude. You can't just be giving it out right now on the show. You know what I mean? But hey, I got to get more of those, uh, those hats. I love truckers. I love let's, let's back up a second. You were you were on shorties. How'd you get on shorties? Um, man, I just was able to link up with the Muska dude because yeah, uh, and Chad put you on. Yeah, dude. Sick. So like, yeah. after that, then shorties. For, he for, he formed LSH. How did you end up? Whoa, with whoa, whoa! What's, little, what's LSH? Little, little shitheads. Oh, okay. It was me, Marius, awesome. Oliver, Reva, Rebus. Remember Oliver Rebus? Oh yeah. What happened to him? Dude, he's Long Beach, dude. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what he, uh, you know, got into, dude. I mean, like, Shorty's was kind of just, like, letting a couple guys go. But, right. like, Oliver was the man. You remember Oliver, huh, Kelly? Little Oliver, Little Oliver dude. He's around Long Beach. I seen okay. some footy of him in a homie video, Sick. dude. He, like, would start boxing, dude. He was buff. Really? He always used to beat me up. Like, true? Like, really? Like I real? was, like, 12. He was, like, oh. 11. Damn. Damn. And he was, like, socking me. <laughs> like, mess pranking me, dude. Like, I was helpless. <laughs> dude. I was, like, he, he was punking you. He was punking me dude Damn. i was t- at 12 years old but he was 11 how he old? already had armpit hair <laughs> oh shit how old were you when you got sponsored uh shorties uh that all happened in like 2002 how old 2003 were you then, right when i was 12 i was 12 got on squad dude that's when uh session with muska it was weird because you know marius and oliver were already like getting on and i was like dude like okay you know i really wasn't part of that right and then like I just like got brought to Shorty's Park and like, skated with Muska, dude. The Muska was he hyped? And he was hyped, dude. Sick. He Sick. was he was stoked. Yeah. He put me on the team, dude. He put me on the team, and um, I mean, dude, that was the beginning of it. So how long did that last? That was solid, man. Like a sh- couple years. That was that was a good like two years. I was on Shorty's okay. 
And uh, why did you leave Shorties? Did Shorties just decide we're not gonna make boards anymore. My well, Shorties was full effect. We just came out the video. Yeah, how yeah, to go you did pro. the How to Go Pro thing. Uh, but then, same like, what time. Happened? It was same time though. Like I was, I was Shorties. I was ripping Shorties. I was a Cyrus Kids team. Yeah. But no. then that's when I like I started getting like reunited with DVS. Okay. Uh, Gabe yeah. took care of me, but Gabe's it was like a after man. a Tampa contest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. But how did you go from being fully on shorties, like just had a video part and they're like, how to go pro video? Well, DVS, like, they were like, man, like we, we don't want you to skate for shorties. Yeah, these dudes wanted me to quit. So after we left the Skate More Tour, after that, I had to make the call. It was the oh, first wow. sponsor really? I had ever quit, dude. No it way. was like the Do you got to call up shit. the Muska or do you call somebody else? No, nah, I didn't call the Muska. I did talk to Muska in person though, after the fact benny bermudez right. benny blanco benny from the block seriously dude i was 12 years old these dudes are bringing us on tour right and it was so sick and like um so basically i had to call benny i was at scuba's apartment in glendale and we're chilling dude it was like me i think dan was there possibly and it was l ridge scuba we're chilling dude and i called benny dude i'm nervous as shit on the street walking the sidewalk dude all right i'm gonna do it and oh you went outside to make the call like i gotta go answer he oh. didn't answer so i like left a message like hey benny dude like i just gotta like say something you gotta call me back just went inside kind of like got the little bit of relief but he called me back and i answered it and eldridge was like he's gonna quit no way. He's going to quit. Oh, shit. And I was like, I was like, hey, you know, and then I went outside and I was like, hey, Benny, dude, like, hey, uh, you know, I, I just, you know, I just want to talk to you, man. Like, you know, and he's like, he's like, you're going to quit, aren't you? And I was like, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so tough, dude. And like, I don't know. It was gnarly. Like, it was what? like, it was like two weeks after I got my first paycheck. Oh, Wow. wow. So were they cool with it? Did they understand? Give me two hundred fifty bucks a month. Oh, that's not bad for fourteen, right? Fourteen or something. Yeah, that's dude. It's not right? bad, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I tried then? to cash it. it. They put it void after I quit. It, it bounced. <laughs> they voided it. I swear to God. Oh shit. Yeah, dude. Wow. Just so you had to pay the fucking bounce fee. But yeah, dude. No, that's when I left. But that's when like other dudes had my back at DVS, dude. Yeah. Mikey Barra. Yeah. Was uh getting the alien flow for a bit. Alien flow yeah. was rad. You said Eldridge is there. Was Eldridge uh, Shorty's flow then too as well? Justin Eldridge, yeah. he was on chocolate. Oh, he's on chocolate. But well, because he, he was Shorty's on Shorty's flow. flow for a while. Oh, really? No yeah. way. I didn't know that. Yeah. Not when I was on the team. Not really. Okay. Yeah, dude. He was like psh, getting close to that. Yeah, right video part uh, coming out. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I looked up so to it was all like you 2003. Guys, dude. Yeah. Come on, dude. Remember? 2003. Remember I, when you were skating uh, that spot? Pop shove it nose grind? Front nose grind? Right. With the door? Yeah. Well, that? Where was that? That was, was uh, the name of that school? Kennedy. 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 I was. I, sh- I filmed that. Did you film it? <laughs> yeah. you filmed it like shit. I yeah, thought. Totally. That's so sick. No, I'm just, dude. I totally it's did. funny because we we skated that spot. We obviously found out yeah. about who you know. Yeah. You had the the, Chris the Roberts, round mani pad and the benches. I do. I remember. Man skating yeah. in the valley. We're tripping. Trip, so we right. went to that spot. Yeah. Found it. Propped up a door, dude. I remember. But we skated it backside. Schulte. Pop shove it. Crook. Sick. That's really sick. Yeah. So sick. It was back in the day. Yeah, that was a long time I ago. I had a I back fucking... nose grind, shove on it. Shall back be? nose grind, shove out. That was a little fun spot, man. I don't even know if my footy was ever out. Really? Yeah, I think I don't know. You skated with Schulte a lot growing up, huh? Yeah, like, that was your boy. I, I love Schulte. With Schulte. Yeah. I, grew up, I grew up skating Skate Lab. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I met Schulte at Skate Lab. I heard you had the most injuries at Skate Lab ever. I doubt that. Really? I, I mean, I had some. I had a lot of injuries. <laughs> I think Todd had a count on like when kids got injured, whatever. They kept track of it, and you were like a hundred and something in one year. Roger, dude, your statistics. That's, I know, are right? Not factual, and also, I mean, you know, he's like, dude, I had some whack slams, but it was cool because it's like I was I was young, so whenever I get hurt at Skate Lab, then like I could like kind of like bitch about it and not go to school the next day oh. and you go back to school and they're like tripping kind of like why is he bruised up oh why is he bruised up why hasn't he been to school for he's two weeks his... why is he why is he all weird and doesn't he's crying he don't want to be here <laughs> yeah. he don't want to be here his parents abusing him they, Did like, they really think that yeah no they made me really? go to the police station with my Shut parents fuck i up. swear to god so I was missing a lot of school. Dude. Right. Because really? I would get sick or like, dude, I just didn't want to go to school. Man. Right. It was no, not my thing, dude. Me neither. Who wants to go Which to school? Like, I would still go skate. That's right. the thing. Was I was skating when I was six years old. That shit is crazy. But I went wow. to the police station and like they straight up like interviewed me and my parents. I don't remember it. But like it was just it was just kind of like they're, they're, they're hounding us. Right. Yeah. 
and I'm just like, yeah, I skate. You know, on it. I'm a little kid. Dude. My my shorts are all ripped up. I look like I'm all raggedy white trash, dude. <laughs> which, dude, I just was a skater from Simi Valley. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Right. Which in the zone, it was like, I don't know, dude, kind of like trailer park meth capital of the zone. That's the that's the uh, that's the west side. Not though. now. East though. side. You go you go to the west side of Simi Valley. It's all nice, dude. It is, huh? That's where like Mike Mo. Lives, Mike Mo, right? dude. Yeah. yeah you got right. like the nice zone. Lord knows. It's Was uh, Lord on that side of the zone? Where'd you go up and see me? Thousand Oaks. Oh, you go up oh. to T.O. Oh. Yeah, see? T-O. Get out of here, dude. He's on the east side. Yeah, tsh, whatever. But, like, you know, it's uh, it, it was mellow. Uh, it, it, I just I just feel like school and all that. Like, I mean, I was never into it either. What are they going to expect? What are your parents going to expect when you're that young anyways? Yeah. It's just like, I just didn't like going to school ever. No one does. Hell no. I hated it. Yeah. Not a fan. Yeah, I was like, all. all right, I'm going to do it enough just to get by. Like, I'm going to get C's, and I'm just going to go skate every day. Yeah, I went to a continuation school in high school. It was like 9 to 1 every day. We just fucking bounce, go skate. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Camera. You're a professional skateboarder, dude. Well, not at the time, but I, I just hated school. You guys got some snacks, some, some candies. We got here, gummy dude. bears. You guys got some Teddy Grahams. <laughs> <laughs> Honey Teddy Grahams, man. I, and you got the bear on there, dude. Look at that. Hey, do you guys do you guys remember the first time you've met me? Um, I do remember going to Skate Lab really? and seeing you there. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you guys would come through for demos, and I little no, but even just to skate there. I was always like, I was always just such a big fan of you guys. Well, man. thanks, but I think this was before <laughs> before all that sponsoring, and I would go to Skate Lab a couple times, and I I remember seeing you there because this is a little fucking ripper. I was definitely a lab rat. But it was too far for me, man. I couldn't go up there all the time. Well, dude, I mean, so Skate far. Lab, dude, I mean, it's still, it's still people, you know, they they really don't even know how much history is in oh, that yeah. skate park. It's Skateboard insane. Museum. I've been skating there for like 18 years. And um, it never occurred to you that like. Not until recently. Todd had like times I've been there. everything And now when I'm there? in there, I can't even have a conversation with no one because I'm just like, dude. Dude, Neil Blender. Todd, we would always just like, like he'd be chilling, you know, doing his thing, like mm-hmm. kind of like low key in the cut. Mm-hmm. But then like he would like kind of like mob through sometimes, like the skate park with his board. And we'd be like, oh, Todd's skating through. Todd, do the 720. Because he would do the like the spin 720, uh-huh. like the 1080s. It was crazy. Dude. He was so good at it. Can you do that? I could try. can't do more than a 360. Roger can get into you. any trick. He just can't finish it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's pretty incredible to see that, dude. Todd's, so Todd's the owner of Skate Lab. Owner right? of Skate Lab. Fuck well, in. you know, he's part partner owner. Okay, partner. Scott Radinsky. Okay. Original a, founder. Yeah, he was a pitcher for uh, for a Major League Baseball team. Really? He was in the band Pulley. I was in a Limp Biscuit music video. Shut up, dude. You know that. <laughs> no, you weren't. Oh, yeah, I was Are in a full blown Limp Biscuit music video. Really? Dude, break stuff. You could see it. No way. Yeah, dude. Rob Deerdeck was in it, too. Shut up. Yeah, dude. Because, you know, uh, Fred Durst was kind of like repping DC, so I don't know how all that worked, but and I was wait, probably like kinda, nine he years skated old. Too. He kind of skated as well. I'm still fascinated by the Limp Biscuit video. I have to fucking check this thing out. You got to check this thing out. <laughs> That's a. What the fuck, Raj? What are you doing? He's obviously hungry. I know, but well, he's got the munchies. I just want to give him a little Teddy Grahams. Hoping Kelly was gonna bring like some burrito over. Kelly's the type of dude he goes to the place and eats by himself, sits yeah. there. By the way, dude, uh, I table, don't know table for the, one. We got your signature Kelly Hart grip dude. tape, dude, coming Thank soon. You, so. I gave you the best idea for some grip tape, and I've never seen it. Come on, remember the color cutouts? You could put any color you want bare inside the cutout. Oh, no, I know. That's I know. My, I'm I know. telling you, comes with changeable colors yes. of the bear cutout in a right. pack yeah sold separately dude yeah. or in or the, you know two three yeah, four exactly. of them in the pack you, you know red, you can mix yellow. them up you, mix you can mix them up, them up. or you just choose your color it's i mean fun. i could put it on your binder right you put it on your binder yep i could picture kids cutting shit and like putting them the bear together in the in the grip i mean that's pretty little, you know what I'm saying? Little it's pretty tedious people dude. do shit up people do shit yeah people get clever Chris Roberts signature grip tape. I'm, I'm telling you, man, that's going right. to be a hit. That talk, will sell more right. than fucking this Kelly Hart shit. Talk to Bryson. <laughs> talk talk to Bryson. <laughs> Send him an email. Give me his email. DM me on the DL his uh, email. I got to talk to this. I got to talk to this Bryson guy. What makes good grip tape? Seriously, dude, you just got to really like 
make sure that you actually care about what you're making. That's what makes good grip tape. You can't just make a product, dude, and be like, all right, here it is. You got to make it and be like, how could it be better? How many? And then if you can't make it better or you can, you say, you know what? Let's make it the way we want to make it. And how do we do right. that? And that's what Grizzly is. It's taken a long time. We still progress on our grip tape. It gets better and better. There's different styles now. You can do a lot of different things, you know, with the printing, different graphics. You know, you, you could you could do custom paint jobs. No, but listen, oh, the grip, the grip. Well, oh, no, yeah, no, I was no, always no. a fan Perfect when it first grip. when it first came out, and I first tried it. I was like, dude, this grip tape is so good because I was a it take, it I was took, a mob grip tape dude. Right. No. And yeah. And I was like, this is. It like, takes time to the f make the formula, but I made the formula according to like what feels right when you're skateboarding. You know, like mm -hmm. you don't want to have to think about it when you're gripping your board, what your grip tape's like. Right. I've seen dudes tripping on this kind of stuff for years, man. Where it's like dudes don't even want to cut out. They don't even want a uh, a speck of dirt on their grip tape. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay. Hey, dude, people are picky. Skaters yeah, are fucking people picky. People are very picky, Exactly, dude. yeah. So I tried to make something that was just the comfort. You don't even have to think twice about it. This is just working. Because yeah. I've been in situations where I'm like, dude, my grip tape's too grippy, dude. That kind of just screwed me yeah. right now. Indie come out like That just sure. screwed me, dude. Especially yeah. when you're mid-competition, mm -hmm. dude. You're trying to compete. You're trying to skate with some dudes. And your board snaps. And you're like, oh, I got to ride this dude's board. Well, his grip tape's too grip. It's almost there. Hey, this is not going to be harmed in the making of this skit. <laughs> because it's, it's sticky because as fuck. it's grizzly. Let me show you. Let's see. What do you you're got? You're gripping your board, dude. Right. You got your grip, dude. And you're just like, oh. Yeah, I hate that. I fucking hate yeah. when that happens. Doesn't That's the worst. I hate when that happens. Dude? That's the like, worst. It, dude. Yeah. That's like, worst. here, let's, 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 let's give it a little more. P all right. You can be able to peel apart. So now you go home and you do this with another sheet of grip tape did grizzly though you're fine you just give it a little peel okay. you know and you're back in action ready to go on wood. that's definitely a nice feature and, and and look at this too dude you can fold this dude look no crack no crack no crack this is the things that i i pay attention to because i i, I became a grip tape connoisseur right. when mm -hmm. i started this dude i had to make let's sure see, that i see, knew rip, it let's see rip. no crack look you can't even tear it you can't even tear it do you see that try to tear that shit can't. This is amazing. I just witnessed a live infomercial so, right in yeah. front of me. <laughs> and he's putting it back on the well, thing for Kelly to grip his board up tomorrow. No harm done. <laughs> Look at that. that Ready to go. No harm done. Ready to go. Boom. Boom. Look at that. Not bad, huh? All right. You got the diamond shoes going. The diamond you know? footwear. It's the diamond footwear. Well, so how did that come about? You stayed in the family, basically. You know? Well, yeah, dude. I mean, it's, it's like, always been the fam, dude. Yeah. And then it's like, dude, I'm developing a brand. Right. And that a lot goes into that. Yeah. yeah. Well, of, you got you got to put the team together. You got to you put the team together. You got to develop the footwear. Then you got to like branding. do all the marketing. Yeah. Then you got to get the word out. You got to get everything into play. And it's just like, it's more than I could even handle. Right. Do you ever feel like you're just in over your head sometimes? Like, if, like all I want to do is go skate and like. But shit, I have to like deal with like For sure, production dude. But the like whole that. time Diamond Footwear started, I couldn't skate because I got a knee surgery. Oh, yeah. So I've right. been out, I've been off the board, so I've had nothing to do but focus. Do you think yeah. that like knee sur like that uh, the knee injury was like, kind of a blessing in disguise? One hundred percent, dude. The knee injury was the best thing that happened to me, dude. It was just why, like so why 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 do you say that though? Uh I never focus. had I've never had any type of break to to just get off my board and just kinda like evaluate the game right because it's always changing it's stressful yeah. you got your sponsors you're working on this project you kind of get lost in it absolutely you know yeah. it's like you want to come through for the kids you gotta sell this gotta make sure grizzly's good diamond plan b put the shit on the map let's start this brand and it's just like it gets overwhelming yeah. dude. i believe it yeah i'm definitely passionate about what i do and i care for everything that goes into what i'm working right, on you right. know, especially my skateboarding not being able to skate, I put all that energy into Diamond, Grizzly. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's been great. I've learned a lot. And now it's like moving forward, I use 
everything that I've learned from my whole skate career, my experience, and I do it a different way, man. Where I'm building diamond footwear, I'm developing diamond footwear. Yeah. You just, but it's but it's not revolved around me, not whatsoever. Yeah. We got legendary skateboarders oh, in the dude. game and the future legends, right. dude. And we got the up and comers, dude. Right. That you know were that were we're really given you know, the people something that is a real skateboarding footwear brand core by skaters for skaters owned by skaters. Right. You just put one of my favorite skaters on Diamond recently, Jamie Foy. How did that happen? I mean, dude, that's probably your favorite skater's favorite skater. He is Jamie awesome. Foy? Because he was the hot fish oil, dude. He was the hot fish oil in the pot. He was that bacon grease in your face. When you're cooking <laughs> that shit, dude. You're like, da. <laughs> that's Jamie Foy, dude. And yeah. it's like, man, I always seen him skating around for years and I always thought he was dope. He used to skate Grizzly and I just seen him killing it. I reached out to him, you know. Yeah. I don't reach out to other people. Hey, you wanna skate for diamond footwear? You wanna skate for Jamie? He was he was one of only. No. Yeah. And you know, it's like Jamie, you see this opportunity or not, dude. I've chopped it up with him. I met up with him. I came at him really trying to let him know that i see this vision of jamie being on squad same with beeble same with boo johnson nick nick tucker yeah. mm -hmm. you know yeah. myself we're all mutts dude do we right. all fit this fam no dude we're all mutts but we do because we're a unique offering to what diamond is we're about that life yeah no. you know and jamie i mean dude he's one of my favorite skaters he's sad. Yeah, he's one he's, of my favorites he's too. on the rise right now yeah, dude he really he's the is. future dude and i want to give him that that shine to the world it's almost it's like you said though like he has been around for years but it's like recently the baking grease splattered <laughs> he's just exploded that's like jamie foy is the best he's the best skateboarder you see what chris jocelyn came through swinging yeah now you see jamie foy come through swinging it's true do not see that very often these dudes are really the guys that you know i i care about these dudes a lot i want to make sure that they're their future, but not only their future, just their every day. They're psyched to yeah. ride for a company that has their back. That's totally. always what I've looked for, you right. know. So now it's like I think that's what every skater looks. I just want to ride you know, with the like, squad, dude. It's hard these days though because you got the Nike and the Adidas and the Con. You know what I mean? And like they have the you money. See, to do that. They have the money. Yeah, you but know? they're not core skate companies. I know, I know. But I'm just so saying, like, best like they, teams in but the they, game, but, best teams in the game. But it's like, as like, wh where's their shine? Right. Where's as a shine? as a core skate company, what do you do for the core? What do we do for the core? Like, dude? what do you do for the core shops? Do you do anything special for the core? Yeah, dude, I go in there personally myself, dude. I drive down there, I go in, I visit their shop, dude. I mm -hmm. sit with them, I hang out, I see if they're carrying the, the the footwear or the grip tape. And if they are, dude, it's like high fives, thanks, dude. Like, yeah. maybe we should do something in your store sometime, or mm -hmm. maybe you guys should should reach out. Maybe we could do some sort of giveaway contest or whatever. You don't got the grip tape. Why don't you guys got the grip tape, dude? What could we do to get you guys to maybe consider <laughs> yeah. carrying grip tape or diamond footwear? Right. Do you guys want to sample some shoes? Do you guys want to hook up a couple of your local guys that are killing it, see how they like the footwear? It's free on the house. I'll tell you what, though. That first commercial that you guys did was fucking amazing. You guys did come out the gate fucking strong. Yeah, you with guys that commercial. Come swinging. That was... Oh, the commercial, dude. That, that was, was sick. That was, dude, that was brag, sick. seriously, like... That was the most genius thing ever, dude. A lot of work went into that. Oh, it looked like it was it. fun. It was really fun. Yeah. Dude. Right. Give you you, you got the bacon the sizzling. You got the bacon sizzling. Dude, you these know? are out there cooking every day. That's it. These dudes are in your face, dude. That's it. But we're gonna come at at, at the game, dude, with with people that give them something where they're like, oh, okay, I want to go skate. That was right. rad. And you know what? That dude put in work for that. That was cool. And he really liked that because he likes representing the brand that that supports him right diamond footwear what do you call your new shoe uh it's 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 my uh signature tory from diamond oh, wow he is, just, boys, here, here just pulled out from under the table yeah, huh? look so, at that you know this great is, great fucking looking shoe by the way i'll tell you what yeah it's clean it's like fuck. a white suede right yeah here, yeah you know <laughs> you guys see it yeah, let me let me move my box water so yeah, they could yeah, see yeah. it you let's know let's put a teddy gram in there too hey seriously dude can i give the biggest shout out to like front five oh Front nose grind. Oh yeah, on the West LA courthouse ledge. Let's talk about this. Because, dude, seriously, like no one, no one chomped that thing. I know. You no one it. chomped it. I was it. gonna say you back tailed dude, it. Dude, I had my eye on that thing forever, but you know it had skate stoppers on it forever, dude. Right. 
Yeah. But no one still sussed it. No right. one sussed it, dude. You've, it's intimidating. It's what a, went down a, besides front fun. five and front nose grind? Uh, uh, I think people know slid it. Robbie yeah. McKinley tried to crooked grind it. Got fucking got broke. Broke off, yeah. Fucked his face up. The Chris Roberts ledge. Honestly, the crazy thing is, dude, I don't think anyone could front nose grind that now. But I'm sure In people front could, five, dude. Oh, fucking Grizzly should put some money up for balance? some tricks. No, let's leave. I want to. We should re knob it. We should let's re knob it. Nob you back tailed. I did my little tricks and we'll re knob it. I fuck that. I'm going there tonight after this. I'm <laughs> going there. To, I'm going there tonight with a sledgehammer. <laughs> with all the, a sledgehammer. All the fantasies I have, dude, that I had. But the back tail was it's sick. It's all getting progressed hey, listen, a couple of years listen, later. Dude. How long did that take you? The back yeah, tail? Yeah. I just want to know. It was scary, dude. It didn't dude. take me that long. It took me oh. years of thinking. But, dude, literally, <laughs> do you know how, how, how I got word that that thing was getting unknobbed and scared? Right. Well, the next day I showed up in the morning and oh, I was shit. like, like, straight, like, battle. Yeah. No one fucking fuck with me. Right. Try this well, shit. Because I'm doing it right now. Was it was like, scary, dude. I had to trim all the bushes, dude, oh, myself, you, yeah. dude. Right. And if it wasn't me doing that, someone else got to get to work. Yeah. I brought scissors from my house. <laughs> like scissors? or like stick scissors from my house. Jesus. Did you get a callus fucking trying to... I ate shit. It's trying to back tail that thing, dude. But I got it. I marked it in yeah. probably like 13 tries. Dude, that's sick. 15 tries. That was good. Dude. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. It's, uh, it's just kind of tough because it's just it it was so long you dude know? it's yeah. fucking and it's know. high and when you come in backside you got you can't go straight on you know you gotta curve at it the but run like, up is not the best i want to see someone do it switch but i always thought that like if you can get halfway on that ledge you can do you just thing. you got the whole thing you know it's like just that uh, extra little uh i'm know. just like dude man that that thing was was Back in the day, legendary. The courthouse was such a big thing from like the nineties. It was our embarcadero. It was, it was like, but I didn't experience it then, dude. Mm. I came and skated the courthouse the first time when I was like twelve years old, dude. Yeah. No, nah, I was before that. Was that was still then. I was it like was still ten, eleven. I have my sponsor me tape, dude. But I was filming there. It's crazy that it fully got banned. It was always banned there. It's though. a courthouse. Yeah, it's, the it, police it, station's right there. Yeah. Like they just didn't want you there, and it, just, it became like a homeless hangout. And now it's legal yeah. to skate there, and they yeah. redid all the ledges, yeah. and they're amazing. You go there whenever you want, Super, and it's never crowded. Really sick. Yeah. But I'll tell you this: they did not change the out ledge, dude. Same thing. Yeah. All they did was repaint it. That's it. Yeah. That whole spot is fake. It's legal. It's cool. Right. But the out ledge. The dude, stage is still the same too. Stage is still the same. Yeah. Stage it's is not fake. Same. It's not fake. Stage is real. The ledge is a fake. I just Real thought high. I just I thought it was cool that they didn't redo that ledge with the metal. They didn't ruin yeah. the history of the spot. They kept it raw. Right. Yeah. That back tail was sick though. I like it. Thanks, dude. Yeah. yeah. Look, oh, yeah. Looked all good, all painted red and shit. And fucking <laughs> my shit was all white ledge. I wanted to go there. I dude, I honestly like a month before that I told Ty, I was like, Hey dude, un let's unknob this. Oh wow, un really? Let's, yeah, let's, You've had your eye on that I for had a while. It on, yeah, for We Are Blood. I also wanted to try to get it for the plan B video oh. too, but I was always scared to go unknob it. I showed up, dude. Some other kid showed up too. No way. I started trying to back tail it. He's like, dude, I was gonna try that. You're like, sorry, bud. I was like Yo, get out. I was like, I was like, go for it, dude. <laughs> Shit, it ain't easy. How do you feel about kids just filming things and throwing around on the internet? Like like, cause like I know that some people like like they'll film things like oh shit I don't want to sit on this for too long. How do you feel about that? I mean, I myself as a filmer, I want to like shoot it, save it, and then put out like a, a rad project, you know? Whereas, Edit. Yeah. The song. Like, do the a vision. Whole, do a great product. Make a great product. Where other people are just like, get it out. I want to make sure people know I did it first or whatever else, you know. As like a pro skater that who's working on something like and you're like fuck dude these kids are just fucking like pushing shit out left and right, like what are your thoughts on all that? Got to change the game, man. You got to set the standard. You can't be saving your shit. You got to get it out. You got to give it to them. Why save it? Why put out a video part when it's like? But you're working on a video part. Yeah, but these dudes don't know that. They don't know that. They don't get to see anything for f two years, three years, four years. Right. They could be seeing something every day. They could be seeing something. But and then, 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 then there's, after, dude, there's a dude like Kelly who does like fakey tray, fakey man. And you're like, fuck, that, that's probably the best trick that's ever gotten done. Whoa, mm -hmm. whoa. Mm -hmm. and, and then, and then, that and then trick. A switch flip, switch manual, that thing, man. That was pretty fucking groundbreaking. <laughs> switch time. manual, switch front side, 360 shove. <laughs> that's right. We don't, we don't talk about that. 360 check. We that's talked about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll add that to the list. 
there are people who like save tricks for like four years and then all of a sudden like some kid like does okay. it okay. on Instagram okay. Okay. and you're like, okay. fuck, so, god damn it. So, so now what I'm getting at, dude, do what you want to do, dude, but this is the way I see it. Yeah. I save clips, I film video parts, it's cool, dude, it's great, but that's not the way it's going anymore. Do you need to give it to him right away? And do you see anybody besides this man <laughs> putting the bangingest banger on internet? Do you see what this dude did? He broke the internet. When totally, this dude fakey totally. tray flip, fakey manny the courthouse stage, dude, he brought joy to people's lives. You know what I'm saying, dude? And that's the impact of how hard he worked and what he did and what he saw that he could do on a board. It's true, yeah. That's why you don't need to save your clips. Every clip you got, Roberts, Instagram it tomorrow, dude. Space it out. One clip a day for the whole week. Bangers. The best shit you ever got. You know the kids are going to be like, thank you. You know what, dude? I just want to let you guys know, man, seriously, that... You just got to do whatever you feel like is the best thing at that time. And if that's going to be the right or wrong decision, you made it. You know, keep that in mind. Okay, I like that. I like that. You made it. Right or wrong, you made it. All right, well, good shit, man. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thank you. (laughs) What are you doing over here, buddy? (laughs) (laughs) Just killing those teddy grams. All right, guys, I'm out. Yeah. If the real doll just happened to be in my bed, <laughs> um, you would take advantage of it. I think, I mean, I, I would try it, right? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you try the real? If, if it, I might spoon with it. It's worth it. Spooning would turn into penetration. <laughs> I swear. I'd be way too weirded out. That's the problem, though. Is I eat bad every day of the week, and you so don't gain nothing. I don't gain nothing. You gone to the doctors or anything? Metabolism one, good? Everything. You're one good. what? One forty-five. How are you one forty-five? What? I'm 145. I'm like six My foot. My one thigh is 145. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn. How are you? How are you 145?